In this video I'm going to show you 7 GoPro camera tricks slash effects including the highly requested dolly zoom which I use in one of my other videos. So let's start with the first one. I guess you already know this feature of the GoPro Hero 7 but for all of you who don't you can now film vertically. Well, you actually could have already before with the other GoPro cameras, but now the screen flips as well. So you can see what your camera is pointing at and you can also see your image on the camera. That's especially great for Instagram stories because there you have this 9 to 16 format. Of course, you can film vertically with all other GoPros as well, but if you have an older one, you maybe don't see what you are filming. And by the way, if you would like to see how you can make cinematic Instagram stories with your GoPro, then please vote right now in the upper corner so I can see if it's worth it for me to make a tutorial about that. I bet everybody of you once wanted to film something, you press the button, nothing happened because your camera froze, then you had to open the camera, pull out the battery, put it in again and start filming and you lost maybe a minute and you missed your shot. This is now history because if you have the GoPro Hero 7, which is filming at the moment, then you can just press the upper button and the right one at the same time for around 5 seconds and then the GoPro restarts itself so you don't have to pull out the battery. That's especially great if you are using your GoPro in the water or while it's raining because your hands are wet and you can't pull out the battery. So the restart thing is a really cool trick if you have problems with your GoPro freezing all the time. A pretty cool thing in my opinion is a POV mount. POV means point of view and that is a... You know what, I'm gonna show you an example. It's much easier for you to understand and easier for me to explain. I'm like five minutes repeating the same over and over again. So here you go. So that was a POV shot. It looked like the camera was my eyes. That was the whole idea behind the POV shot. And I used a diving mount for this. You just put it in the mouth. It's still a little bit salty from my Cuba trip. And then you start filming. But you have to keep a few things in mind. Two things are really important. First of all, the settings and second, the movements. Let's start with the settings. I shot in 2.7K, 60 or 30 frames and linear and wide mode. Now here comes the big difference. If you shoot in linear mode, your picture is more narrow and you need to exaggerate with your movements. You have to do that as well in the wide mode, but not as extreme. So I already talked about the movements and this is the second point. If you want to look what time it is with your POV mount, you need to move your arm a little bit further away from your body that you actually can see your arm in the picture and even more in the linear mode than the wide one. And for example, when I was running, I was running like that. I looked super stupid, but the arm movements, they turn out great in the shot because if I would run normally, you wouldn't see them at all. These are the two things which are really important and you maybe have to do the same shot a few times until you are happy. But it's actually pretty easy to get. The dolly zoom was the effect you were waiting for and you requested in one of my other videos. I already told you in the comment section that it's pretty easy to get and it's really that easy. So let's start with the first dolly zoom. There are two options I'm gonna show you. You take your camera and you walk just straight forwards. Nothing else, it's really that easy. Then you take your video, throw it into your editing program and then you zoom into the picture. And that zoom makes the dolly zoom because you start zoomed in and then you slowly zoom out. That makes the whole effect because you're moving your camera forwards and your image gets also wider because you're zooming out. That makes this weird effect. This works also if you're walking backwards and that's the second option. It's just the opposite you have to do. Walk backwards 
and you start with your normal image and then while walking backwards you zoom into the image that's it it's really that easy have you ever heard of the google earth studio I haven't until two weeks ago and it's a really amazing feature for all travelers which is completely free. With Google Earth Studio you can animate drone shots in the whole world and that's why it's great for travelers because you can make some really sick transitions. I'm gonna show you everything right now. So basically what I did, I animated a shot in Cuba and I took a specific place because I have of this exact place also a real life shot so it's easier to connect those shots. You download then your animated drone shot and you will get pictures not a video and then you take your pictures and drag them into your timeline and it works like a time lapse you then you have your video and then you can connect it to your other shot and what I did is basically just a cut because it's the same location and I already had my transition and it looks pretty cool I think and it's very easy to get and the best thing Google Earth Studio is free and you can use this in your browser you don't have to download anything if you have a GoPro then you also should have this little thing I hope you didn't throw it away because that's my most used GoPro accessory ever over the whole eight years I'm using GoPros it's that great because you can place this little thing everywhere and it fits in your pockets, in your backpack, everywhere. It's always with you. And it's great for special angles. You can put it to the ground, film towards the sky. You can make time lapses with this little mount, the one you are seeing right now. I took right here in this morning at around 6 o'clock. I stood up really, really early. And if you remember the vertical shots from the beginning of this video, I also took it with this little platform because if you have no stick, you can just use this one and it works as well. So this little plastic thing is really, really cool to make great GoPro shots. Also, if you don't have this mount for your POV shot, then you can just mount your GoPro here and take this thing like that into your mouth and you get the exact same shots. So this little thing is worth gold. The last point is a bonus point and I'm gonna show you a pretty cool transition which came to my mind this morning. I didn't edit it yet, I have no idea how it will look like but I can guarantee you already now that it's gonna be pretty pretty cool and really easy. So if you would like to see a whole video about GoPro transitions please let me know that in the comment section. I think it's worth making one because you have such a great flexibility with your little GoPro to make the sickest transitions and especially transitions you don't see in every video. So please let me know that after you saw the one I'm gonna show you now in the comment section if you would like to see more and well-explained transitions. And then that is it for today. See you in the next video. I'm gonna run the transition right now.